Hey everyone, it's Brugley, and today I'm going to be explaining the Long Horse, which is one of Trevor Henderson's most famous creatures. You've seen the images before, you've probably seen an old Roblox or Gmod game with it, but you might not know the lore behind the entity itself. Well, that's, that's what I'm here for. Got nothing else better to do. But without further ado, let's get into the explanation, shall we? Despite its appearance and documentations around it, the Longhorse is a benevolent and safe creature. The creature was created by Henderson back in 2018 and is now one of the most famous entities in the internet lore, alongside Siren Head and Cartoon Cat. Physical Description The physical description of the Longhorse is an interesting one for sure, there's nothing else like it. It looks like a long, skinny creature with a horse-like skull on the end of it. Now, the horse head is only half complete, and it lacks a lower jaw entirely, giving it this really uncanny and, to be honest, horrifying appearance. The neck of the long horse is seemingly infinite. You can call it a neck, you can call it a body, but whatever it is can warp and twist and contort and stretch for as far as the eye can see. Along its shriveled white neck body, you might be able to see a few stringy strands of black hair attached in random spaces. The body is known to smell like fresh wax, and speaking of its body, it looks to be made out of some sort of elastic stretchy material, and not like real flesh skin, just fake material. And this stretchy flesh is how it stretches out for miles and miles. An unnerving part about its appearance is the random bends and breaks in its neck. And whenever the creature turns its head or moves a section of its body neck thing, you'll hear these really unnerving cracks and rips as if bones are breaking inside of the entity. Like think of cracking your knuckles, but every time it bends its head a certain direction or angle, it makes that sound. The long horse is known to enjoy the smell of cinnamon. And in fact, it's attracted to things that smell like it. And the creature itself might be way older than most people even realize. An ancient cave painting has been found that depicts the long horse circling around humans, almost like it's living among them and protecting them. You know, cave paintings are thousands and thousands of years old, so at the minimum, this thing has been around for a couple thousand years. The drawings seem to depict the long horse protecting the humans or kind of warning them of bad omens to come. The long horse itself seems to be an omen of bad things about to happen. So if you see the long horse coming towards you, you know the disaster is about to strike. The entity itself, as I said, is calm and kind and benevolent and it really doesn't attack people, but it seems to know when all these disastrous occurrences are about to happen. Whether it be a flood, or a tornado, or a hurricane, or something, the long horse tends to appear to groups of people that are about to be affected by that. The long horse has been sighted in the woods, in suburban areas, and to be honest, pretty much wherever, and despite its really gross appearance, gross skin, and its sheer horrifying aura, it's very friendly. And curious, even. It's been noted that the long horse tries to warn people about these disasters just out of the kindness of its own heart. It's unknown how it knows or how it can sense this kind of thing, but it's apparent that it's been doing so for thousands of years. The long horse surprisingly enjoys treats, like apples or cinnamon, for an example, and it loves affection too, to be pet or to be talked to or just loved, you know, like a dog almost. If you reach your hand out with an apple or something in it like that for the horse to eat, the apple will immediately begin to turn black and wither away, right in the palm of your hand. This is a sign that the horse accepts the offering and has consumed it. Now, the long horse's abilities differ wildly from most other entities. It can seemingly teleport anywhere around the globe, and it can foretell disasters right before they occur. It can break the laws of physics with its neck, since it can just snap and break and go in any direction, and it doesn't seem to have arms or legs, so it just floats around like it's levitating constantly. An even weirder ability is that the long horse can seemingly enter people's dreams and even alter the outcome of that dream. It's unknown what the purpose of this is, uh, but it can do it, 
which is creepy kind of. The long horse truly seems to be otherworldly in nature, almost like it's a needle that threads the different layers of reality together. Think of it as a long needle poking through infinite layers of balloons without the balloons popping. That's kind of how the long horse travels. Now it's thought that the body of the long horse itself hides out in a pocket dimension and stretches out into our dimension to warn people of these disasters. This isn't confirmed, but it's all we have now. I mean, where else could its infinite body stay? No one's ever seen the beginning of it, and no one's ever seen the end of it. Kind of like my forehead. Some interesting facts about the long horse from people that have encountered it are as follows. It smells like wax, and it also seems to be a mortal enemy of Siren Head. It's almost like they hate each other or something. The long horse is also an enemy with the cartoon cat, which I'm not surprised because it's terrifying looking, and who would not hate that thing? And since the Siren Head and the Cartoon Cat are both ancient evil beings, it seems as if the counteracting being is the Long Horse, the ancient protector. As I mentioned, no end to its neck has ever been found and no beginning, which is why people believe that it stays out in pocket dimensions. Many Long Horse sightings are from different parts around the world. Sightings in Africa and the USA and Canada and Eurasia in every place around the globe people have seen the long horse. Who created the long horse or who sends it to warn people about disasters or why it likes cinnamon and apples, we don't know. We have no idea. But it is a very benevolent being with seemingly great intentions and it doesn't want to rip your face off like the other entities do. So I think that this is a very, very cool creature. I, I'd honestly try to befriend it, maybe even tame it. Don't know if that's possible, but I would try. But as of this video, what I just said is all that we know about it. It's an ancient human protector, and it tries to warn humans about bad things that will happen. It looks deadly, but it's quite literally the opposite, and it's really just kind of wholesome in a way. You know, I feel like that's a pretty wholesome thing. It's also unknown if the long horse has ever fought with Siren Head or the cartoon cat, like a physical fight, because we don't know how it would fight. It has no arms or legs. So unless it wants to headbutt or slap something with its head, that's all it can do. But yeah, that was it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching until the end. Let me know other Trevor Henderson creatures that you want me to go over. Let me know any other stuff that I missed from this video or any other things you want to see. I'm down for anything. This is probably one of my favorite creatures from Trevor Henderson. I really love its lore. I love how it's not aggressive. It's kind of just this perfect mix of uncanny, but also useful. You know, it's a pretty cool thing. Anywho, thank you for all you do. I will see you in the next video on any of my channels, Brugly, Tugly, or Spoogly. Hope you have a great day. Tell somebody you love them and appreciate them because life is too short not to. Thank you, and I will see you later.